Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition Hard Mode. We're on the Kestrel B, the Bluebird, and so far things are going pretty well. All things considered, we do have a hull laser to match our basic laser loadout here. We have 84 scrap and we're in an NG controlled sector. So we're just going to see if the game is going to give us good things or not very good things. Let's ignore the refueling platform. That tends to be traps. Now we're not really going for anything here other than pride at this point or possibly unlocks, but at least if we look at our ship right now, we don't have anything worth our time in the cargo hold, but since we are in an NG sector, we are going to go for that distress beacon, and then we'll see if we can get the store. Sometimes you can get the uh, event, but it looks like this time we're just going to be laser blasting their uh, weapons room. So you know what I can do here? Something I didn't do when I was streaming very well. I can just synchronize my weapons like this. And we can make it work. And we'll just time our, our uh, shots with the whole laser. Okay, I actually survived the uh, full onslaught there of two shields. So that's pretty good. Let's just see if we can take them out in a hurry here. Maybe. They're going to be repairing their weapons pretty fast. But fortunately, our lasers fire even faster. Or not. I mean, we can, we can dare to dream, right? So we got basic lasers going pew pew all over the place. I just got to get this hull shot in and we'll be good to go. Or we'll just miss everything again. I guess we should just focus everything on the big room then. Because we don't want this halberd beam to go along the same time. I could have been using this time to shoot down uh, other systems. And I didn't, so... See, just like that, we took one unnecessary damage because we just could not actually hit things. It's okay, Ken the Mantis will repair, and we shall be all good in the neighborhood here. So it's interesting how much they're dodging now. We got some good hits in early, and now we are having some problems. All right. So Halberd Beam down. I don't think we need to worry so much about repairs, but we'll get that basic laser back up anyway. Close enough. I guess we will try and shoot down their shield. Let's go ahead and just put four back on here. There we go. One shield bubble down helps from the looks of it. There we go. That's a system fire. That's what I was waiting for. All right, so now Halberd being to speak of. Now everything's on fire, and you know when you're in FTL and everything's on fire, you're having a bad day. All right. Ship down, finally. Yeah, I did, uh, let's see here, we can give him, let's give him a little bit of everything. We got the NG Metabot Dispersal. I guess I probably shouldn't have done that with the store right here. So here, that's still connected to the store, and you're connected to here. So we can backtrack a little bit. We've probably got one, two, three jumps, and then the store. So let's see if we can farm some more scrap, because that was, the Metabot Dispersal's definitely not worth it there. Let's sell ten missiles, though. That will be worth it. It will be, I tell you. And I hope, uh, let's, yeah, let's, you know, let's sell all the drone parts. Okay, I was about to say, I really hope these are all connected. And it looks like they are. So we had some, uh, decent economy stops. We got a flat cannon and some, uh, terrible, terrible drones now. So as much as I want to focus on other things. I do need to focus on the weapons because that's four shots to our three shields. Alright. Heavy down. There we go. I mean the drone is concerning too. For sure. But we want to uh, really sell it home that we're not going to take anything here. Let's see if we can get the shields down next. No. Okay, we got their weapons damaged at least. Jump imminent? Oh no. Okay, we're not going to get these guys in time. Yeah. Didn't even pay attention to the circumstances there, so Fleet Pursuit doubled for a jump. Good thing I moved up here. We need some fuel. We need some better stuff than what we already got. And a Glaive Beam is good. <laughs> glaive Beam is actually really good. Um, hacking, we just sold our drones. Crew Teleporter, we do have two Mantis. Scrap recovery arm is probably best for a long-term survival. I mean, like I said, the two mantis on the crew are really interesting, and I definitely should have had the NG back in the proper place. 
So we could go for a transport strategy, it's just that it's so much weaker on hard mode. And it is so much weaker in advanced edition. Let's go with the recovery arm. We'll buy out your fuel. Any weapons that look appealing here? I mean, we can we can sell our Metabot Dispersal, but since we have it, we may as well hold on to it for the time being. Until there's something better we need to flip it for. Uh, are there a backup DNA bank? Not really. All right. Okay, side of the fugitive and fight the NG ship. And look, it was a trap. The mate to sabotage your ship before teleporting away. No, our med bay is gone. And those are defense drone too. So we're going to need to fire all of these shots at the same time. In fact, I'm not at all confident that I can destroy the ship. This could be the end of our run in a hurry. This could really be the end of our run in a hurry. We've got to get... we got to shoot all at the same time. And they're going to be able to... Uh, Get all this in as well. Yeah, we are. Uh, we took down one burst laser. It feels like something's on fire. Why are we not manning our shields? Because I'm smart. Alright. So they're still getting burst laser shots off like crazy. So they have a metabot dispersal there. So we got a lot of hull damage already just from that event. We can get out it. We can check out it any time we want. It may be about time to do just that. Very disappointed. There we go. Okay, did that actually shut off that burst laser? No, it didn't. Alright, I think we're going to be alright. We're now not going to be alright. We do get some practice at dodging and everything. So I could try and turn off their drones. The problem with... Focusing on anything other than their weapons is that we run the risk of a uh, double burst laser twos, or we could just take some more hull damage for every time we get a spare shot. I mean, that is also a thing that can happen. Okay. Probably better to pause and not stagger my shots. Wow, this is like 20% chance and we've gotten hit every time. How many times in a row? There we go. One damage in. Whoa, my goodness. So we have a 20% evade chance. That means every single shot, there's a 20% chance that uh, one of them misses, which actually gives us a really good chance to avoid getting damaged here, but it looks like we're just going to have to jump out. That stinks. So here's the exit. Exit's connected over there. Let's go up here. This gives us more opportunities. Well, we're not quite dead yet. Okay. I'm going to pause this for a second, and we are just going to assess the situation. I'm getting hacked. I faced two ships with two burst laser twos in a row. I'm a little disappointed I didn't do this on stream, too. And my shields are hacked. Okay, guys, remember when I said we were having a good run? Emphasis on the past tense for that one. This is it. This is the end. My Oh, we're at one health. That literally means the solar flare is going to kill us. Death by Solar Flare. There are uh, better ways to go. Oh, okay. Well, Burst Laser 2. There we go. Look at that. If we hadn't wasted so much time with the Three Shield ship, maybe we could have survived that. But regardless, our first run with the Blue Bird ends like many runs with the Kestrel B. You start getting into harder sectors and your weapons don't really punch through pretty well. So that's at least a positive here. We still have... Uh, some ships we need to unlock though, so maybe I do try and go for unlocking the Rock Cruiser Type B again. You know, I did forget actually uh, that you can unlock the unidentified cruiser of the Crystal Ship by defeating the flagship with all Type A and Type B of every ship, which means I need to unlock it. And how many victories am I lacking? I'm lacking a victory on the NG, and that's my only Type A. Of course, that's really weird that that's the only Type A that I'm missing a victory on. And then Type B, it's not so bad. We have victories on the Stealth B? On hard? I gotta look for that video again. I bet that's been a while. Uh, but we have the Slug B. Oh, that's achievement with the Type A. I was like, really? No, that's not That's not what happened here. <laughs> okay, uh, so look at this. How many Type B victories do we have? We have one. We actually don't have a victory with the Mantis B. We've almost done the cycle with that. 
But that is uh, how far away we are from there. But that's it for now. This is Asher. More FTL. It's fun even when sometimes you blow up. But thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.